Namaste children. This video is for class 7. Children, I welcome you all for today's computer class. Children, you all have the experience of searching any of the topic, any of the content in any of the web browser such as Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera, isn't it? So if you search any of the topic, any of the content in any web browser, what you can see over there? You can see many web pages related to your search, related to the topic, isn't it? So how to create a web page? Do you like to create your own web page? So in chapter 7, you are going to learn about HTML. Introduction to HTML. So what you can do with HTML children? Using HTML, you can create your own web page as well as other web page related documents. So using HTML, you can create web page and other web based documents. Children, what is web page? Web page is a collection of informations that can be displayed in any of the web browser such as Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, Opera. Isn't it? So using HTML, you can create a own web page with a colorful background. You can organize your text, image, graphics, video, audio. Children, is it using HTML, you can create only a single web page? You can create many web pages. After creating a number of web pages, you can link logically and bring them in a bigger aspect that is called website. So what is website children? Collection of web pages that can be combined together, that can be grouped together in various ways. Or as I said earlier, it can be linked logically in order to bring up a bigger aspect that is called website. So what is website? Collection of web pages that can be grouped together, that can be combined together in various ways that is called website. So now you got an idea. What is web page? What is website? HTML is also called as a formatting language. Why it is called as a formatting language children? It allows you to organize text, images, graphics, audio, video. Means it defines how the appearance of your web page should be. How the content should be displayed in your web page. So HTML is also called as a tag based language. Regarding tags, I will explain you in detail in future. So HTML is a tag based language. It allows the browser to display the web page. So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. What is hypertext children? Hypertext refers to the text. It is a text that contains the links to the information in the same web page or other different web page. And what is markup? Markup contains a tax. So it will tell the browser, it instructs the browser how the text and images should be displayed. So it is used to format and structure the content. What is language children? Children, language is a very simple thing. As you all know that in order to communicate with, other, with others, we require language. Say for example, now I am communicating with you all via English language. Similarly, in order to create a web page, we require a separate language that is called HTML, which will be understood by the web browser. In order to create HTML document, what are the things required? That we will see in detail. Children, in order to create your HTML document, you can use any of the text editor, it may be notepad or even you can also use notepad plus plus. I suggest you can use notepad. And in order to view the web page, in order to see the result, you can use any of the web browsers. It may be Google Chrome, Opera, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer. As per your wish, you can use any of the web browser. Children, in the next class, I'll teach you about the HTML tags attributes also i'll give you a practical demonstration regarding how to create html document 
Thank you children. Keep smiling.